Hi, I'm Dave from Days of Injapel Tech, and I need to tell you my story of the individual that uh, we all thought was our friend, but we were all misled, and so I just want to tell my side of the story. So back in 2022, um, I had a person reach out to me. Uh, they started following my channel. Uh, we chatted on Twitter. We chatted via phone calls and thought he was a really good friend. Um, I'm just um, kind of at a loss of words here. Uh, he claimed that uh, he had all kinds of stuff in this uh, storage shed. I uh, even saw a video that he did on it. And he said, you know, hey, if you want anything, let me know. Maybe I can help you out. So when he was given a tour of his storage shed, I noticed there was a uh, Mac SE there. And, you know, I kind of wanted one. So again, I, I reached out to him and he says, uh, sure. Uh, uh, so we, uh, we basically, uh, I just paid him for the shipping, uh, he donated it to me. Uh, and he told me all the issues with it. And I even had that on a live stream. Uh, him, uh, I opened the letter, opened the box in front of everybody. So anyway, uh, got it working. And, uh, so yeah. So again, we would talk on the phone. Uh, this is when uh, the, the NABU craze started. And so uh, he gave me the link to uh, get a NABU. And I got the NABU. Uh, he actually even sent me a cable for it, uh, which was very nice of him. But anyway, so um, as time goes on, uh, he kept telling me that he had some other stuff, and I said, well, would you have a, a 128K Mac? And so he got back to me a day or so later and said, well, it's not a 128, it's a 512, which that was fine. I would take that, too, because I didn't have one at the time. And um, basically, uh, he said, you know, I also have a, a Mac 2. Uh, I forget which one it was. I don't remember if it was a CI or SI or 2X. But anyway, uh, I said, well, I'd be interested in that too. I said, well, let's just do the 512. I said, and also um, I would uh, like, you know, if you have any old Apple software for my Apple II, uh, that'd be great. Or joysticks so I can play games on it. And he goes, oh, yeah, I, uh, I've probably got some of that stuff. And so anyway, um, weeks go by and didn't hear anything. So I reached out to him again and he said, uh, you know, I, I did throw some more things in the box that I was going to send to you, but, uh, you know, things have been really busy, a lot of, a lot of personal things in life. Uh, he kept giving me lots of excuses and I had already even paid him for the shipping on this thing. And... I just, um, you know, being the good-natured person that I am, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. So I reached out to him again. I said, hey, uh, you know, I hate to keep bugging you, but, you know, when, when are you going to get around shipping that to me? And again, he said, well, you know, I'm, I lost my job. I'm looking for another, I'm getting another job. Um, or then uh, the other th big excuse he gave was, you know, our cars have uh, had malfunctions, uh, one needed a new motor or transmission or whatever. I don't exactly correct what I'm saying, but anyway, he said he had to take money out of his uh, 401k to, to pay for it, basically get a loan against it so he could get, get them repaired. And, you know, I mean, that doesn't, didn't sound too far-fetched, but uh, so time goes on and then then he says uh, another excuse when I reached out to him again is, oh, my wife's in the hospital. Uh, you know, we had to take her in emergency and, and gave me a story of, you know, all the stuff that she was going through and stuff, which, you know, if that was really true, you know, um, that, that is what it is. But so anyway, I give him three, four more weeks, still haven't heard anything. 
And then uh, months later, then again, I'm, I ask him again. He goes, oh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to get it out to you. I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to get it out to you. I'm behind on sending stuff out to people. And I said, okay, cool. And we would talk uh, really at length on a lot of stuff. You know, he would tell me he knew a lot of famous people and stuff. Um, and, you know, just, uh, you, know, he, you know, he goes, I, I live so so-and-so distance from so-and-so and so anyway uh you know i you know gullible me i i bought a hook line and sinker okay this guy's really have a lot of a lot of personal problems you know and life and stuff i know i realized things like that happen but then it just really started bugging me it really did it's like you know if i if i give if i'm going to send something to somebody i'm going to do it asap Unless I broke a leg or something. And even then I'd have somebody do it for me. But again, um, nothing. So again, time goes on. And then um, I just called him out of the blue again. And he called me back. He goes, oh man, I'm, I'm so sorry. And then, and then uh, I'll, I'll get it out to you. I apologize. And then maybe a week or two later after that, he posts a big thing on Discord and on other social networks that uh, he was held at gunpoint. He got robbed. And, of course, everybody, very concerned with his well-being, uh, said, hey, you know, well, I'm glad you didn't get you know, seriously hurt or anything. So, again, one excuse after another. One excuse after another. And, I mean, I have... I have letters that he sent me, you know, for things, you know, like when we got the machines and stickers and stuff like that. So I just, um, I just happened to find out that, uh, hey, did, uh, have you ever ordered anything from, sorry. And then um, on uh, Discord, or I think it was Discord, uh, there was somebody said, hey, you know, I still haven't got the stuff that, uh, Sean sent me. And I said, well, you know, I haven't either. And then uh, things started circulating around. And anyway, so apparently uh, this gentleman has a history of doing this to uh, the Apple community, um, arcade community, uh, uh, Atari community, all, all these communities that are in, in these little uh, areas of, uh, of, uh, collectors, you know, and so I said, really? So anyway, uh, as this is start circulating around on discord and stuff about his practices and stuff, then I get a text from him saying, Hey, I'm not going to have my discord channel anymore. Feel free to cancel, but at the end of the month, uh, this was in uh, January. Uh, he says January, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, I believe it was February 1st. He said he's going to pull it down. Uh, no more uh, Patreon. So I uh, basically just uh, took him off all my accounts, deleted his phone number, deleted him off the Patreon, on my Patreon, any video uh, in the future he's off of there. Um, and it's just a real sad state of affairs that, you know, I'm, I'm out of this. It wasn't a lot of money, but it's just the fact of the matter. You know, it's the person had the nerve to do this. I mean, it's just, it's just, um, it's, it's just sad. It really is. And I feel really sad for all my YouTube friends out there, even though a lot of them I've never met in person. In fact, all of them, I've never met any of them in person. Uh, I live close to a couple, but, you know, I, I consider them my friends. I mean, we hang out uh, on, online, uh, comment on each other's videos, voice chat, that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's just, um, you know, like I said, I, I really take it personal because he really befriended me. He would, he would uh, text me, uh, "Oh, here, I'll send this video. Don't share it with anybody." Come to find out, he shares it with everybody. Makes you feel really, makes you really feel stupid. So, 
I just, you know, I, 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 I just, you know, I'm still baffled. And then Ron just did a video on this whole thing here. And I have it right back here, brought up here. And um, basically all the things he's saying has happened to many other people. I'm not going to say the other YouTubers out of respect, but he has done this particular thing. And apparently there's a, been a book or two that's been wrote and it's got him featured in it, uh, Sean. And if you watch this video, Sean, you know what? You should be really ashamed of yourself. How dare you take advantage of us kind-hearted people? I mean, really? How can you sleep at night? I, I mean, I, I hope that karma catches up with you in a big way, because it does. And, you know, I, uh, like I said, you know, he's, like I said, he, 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 he pretends somebody that he's not. And that's the thing. It just, it really upsets me. And we all work hard. We all do this for a hobby. I mean, uh, a lot of my friends are monetized. And for me, I'm 65 years old. And I've had businesses before. And he fooled me. Because usually I can smell a scam. But hey, he got, he got one over on me. So I want everybody else, if you have a similar story like this, Please put it online, um, put it in, you know, uh, Discord or uh, Twitter or Mastodon or Blue Sky, whatever social link you use. Put the word out there because I want people to know what a dishonest person he is. And I'm not saying nothing that's not true because it's already been documented. So anyway, um, all I can say is if you have similar experience with this person named Sean, and uh, you know, this is his sticker right here. So anyway, yeah. So please, don't be a victim. Speak out and take care of it. Bye. And since the posting of Ron's video, Sean reached out to me via text. He saw my comment and he says, I suppose you would like a refund. And I said, yes, please. Do I expect to see the money? Absolutely not.